For this video, I would like to try something different and teach you how a doctor tries to diagnose a patient. You can think like a doctor. Having a fever is defined as a temperature greater than 37.8 degrees centigrade or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Here are the basic questions. Number one, how high is the fever and for how many days? Number two, was the patient exposed to anyone with fever or cough in the past two weeks? Number three, is there an outbreak of a disease? Number four, is there a history of travel? Depending on which country you lived in, there could be diseases more common in that area. Aside from fever, ask the patient for these symptoms. It's not 100% accurate, but it applies to the usual cases. First, let us divide fever into those less than seven days and those more than seven days of fever. In the first category of fever of less than seven days, check for the following. Number one, presence of body pains, joint pains, and feeling of tiredness. Consider the flu. Number two, did the patient lose his sense of taste and smell? Are there many cases of COVID-19 in the area? Consider COVID-19 infection. Number three, presence of swollen tonsils. Consider acute tonsillopharyngitis. Number four, presence of urinary symptoms such as difficulty in urination or painful urination. Consider urinary tract infection, request for a urinalysis. Number five, presence of diarrhea and low-grade fever. Consider acute gastroenteritis. Number six, presence of cough, phlegm, fast breathing, and lung crackles. Consider pneumonia or acute bronchitis. The patient needs a chest x-ray. Number seven, presence of any bleeding from the nose, gums, or black colored stools, especially if this occurs after the fever disappears. Consider dengue fever. Check the complete blood count and platelet of the patient. Number eight, presence of yellowing of the eyes called jaundice and tea colored urine. Consider liver problems such as viral hepatitis or leptospirosis. For long-standing fever of more than seven days, here are our differential diagnoses. Number one, low-grade fever in the afternoon, especially if with exposure to a family member with cough, consider tuberculosis. Do a chest x-ray. Number two, severe headache and high-grade fever, consider typhoid fever or meningitis. Number three, did the patient travel to a malaria endemic area? Is the patient having fever and chills every two to three days? Consider malaria. Number four, presence of heart murmur upon examination by a doctor. Consider heart valve infection, medically called infective endocarditis. Finally, watch out for these danger signals. When a patient shows any of these signs, you need to bring the patient to a hospital quickly. These danger signals are one, Difficulty of breathing, two, presence of gum bleeding, nose bleeding, black stools or very pale patient, three, low blood pressure and weak pulse, and four, very sick looking patient. For unclear cases of fever, it is always best to consult your doctor. I hope you learned something today about the various causes of fever. Take care.